Hey, hey, hey. Time for another Out of This World story from our space. Today's story is of two married males that got cheated on by their wives, but yet they dealt with it differently. Let's start and see what's going on. First up, wife of nine years cheated on me with my brother for four years. Let me pretend this by saying English isn't my first language, so sorry for misspellings and I don't know much about the abbreviations. I, 34 male, and my wife, 33 female, have been married for seven years, dated with three. No kids, but we do own a flat together. I am writing this a week after finding out, and I'm currently staying in my brother's house. My wife and I were a super couple. We met at a conference meeting for our jobs, and we hit it off almost immediately. She liked the same things I did, although my hobbies did differ, but we indulged in each other's interests. After three years of dating, she decided to move in with me to a small home I rented out for my friend. We would split the rent. She was great, and I think our intimate life was also good. Around four or five times a week, we would both do the chores around the house, and I would cook most of the meals because she didn't know how to, which I didn't mind. We would go out regularly on dates, and I would often bring her surprise presents, which I thought she loved. I will say that I was distant at one point in a relationship, as I suffered the loss of a family member and just shut myself in my office. I will also say we might have gotten married too quickly, but I really love this woman with all my soul, and now it's all destroyed. Her family loved me, and her father and I are especially close as we go on fishing trips often. So I never thought anything was wrong with how she acted until a lot recently, as she became more cold to me and started accusing me of cheating. She would start arguments over petty things which I would end up apologizing for, not that she accepted the apologies. She also started going out for girls' nights where, or so I thought, her and friends would just go out for a day. Our bedroom life basically became a stone, and whenever I tried to initiate, she would push me away and say that she was tired or not in the mood, which I respected. But these of course created bed flags in my mind, and so, regrettably, I snooped around. There was nothing on Facebook out of the unusual, but her phone, ho oh, ho, that was a gold mine. One day she was laughing at her phone and I asked what was funny, as she became extremely defensive and said that she doesn't need to tell me, then went back to texting. This set off alarms in my head like I've never had before. So that night, after she had a couple drinks and went to bed, I unlocked her phone using Face ID and looked through her photos, nothing there. Recently deleted, nothing as well. Then I went to her messages and found some girl named Monica. She loved friends. And I hadn't met a friend named Monica, so took a snoop and I found the jackpot. From the last messages, I just felt rage, talking about things like, I want you, and, so what I have a husband. The kicker was she didn't delete anything. Every nude, every message, for the last four years was there, and there were thousands. I'm a bit tech-savvy, so I installed spyware into her phone and I set every text to myself. Took five hours to do it all. And now I'm seething with anger. I gave this woman everything and now she does this for so long as well and can still look me in the face and smile. I have asked a friend to recommend a lawyer who will go full scorched earth on her and all the emotions I had towards her are now just anger and spite. She doesn't know what I know yet and I told her that I have a work-related threat for two weeks. I had already set up cameras in the house and as soon as I left the house, he came over and they have done it everywhere. The kicker, Monica, is my other brother. So no, I feel betrayed, emasculated and broken inside. No one else knows yet other than the brother I'm staying at, and we are both seething at this. But I've had my good friend Jack Daniels by my side this whole time. I just feel so dumb and stupid for not noticing in the beginning, and now I'm going to have to go back and face her like nothing happened, as I want to blindside her with the divorce papers when I get them after I hear my auctions from the lawyer, who I haven't even chosen yet. But I will say that something is broken and gone, and I don't have feelings for my wife anymore. But that's where I am right now. I'll post an update if people want one. But right now, I'm lost, drunk, sad, angry, and I have no thoughts of reconciliation. But what do I do now? I'm just lost. Sorry for the long read. Let's check in with the community for some reactions. D Reddit Avenger says, Once you give her your papers, don't even bother to talk to her again. Just refer her to your lawyer. Just leave the papers and the evidence. Also, don't cover her secret. Let everyone know why you are breaking up. As far as your brother goes, I would never talk to him again as well. I would force my family to choose. I would probably do other stuff that I can't write for fear of being banned. You wouldn't know what's coming. You seem to know what you want. That will put you ahead of a lot of people and you will recover faster. Don't ever let her talk to you about it ever or disrespect you by trying to explain yourself. There's nothing she can say and all it does is hurt you more. There's nothing worse than having to sit there and watch someone you love justify their abuse to you. 
It's soul crushing. Just remove her from your life completely as fast as possible. I would do the same with my brother if it was me. I would think of them as both dead to me. Also, tell his wife that he has one. She deserves to know. Sorry this happened, but you will eventually recover and have a happy life again. Next comment comes from Benzel McPrush. Started accusing me of cheating. Cheaters do love to project their faults onto others. You are going to hear a lot of words coming out of her when the truth comes out. If you ever feel inclined to believe any of them, remember this. Actions show who they are. She's cheated on you for four years. Words show who they are pretending to be. One more comment from Irrational Fear 000077. Yeah, don't even bother about being with her. Just go on with your life. Just send the evidence to everyone, friends, family, and let them know why you're divorcing her. And for your brother, just cut them off from your life and move on. Alright, let's compare that one to this story. My wife for three years cheated on me, in my house, and I'm trying to save our marriage. I've been with this woman since I was 20. I am now almost 27 and she just turned 27. Long story short, she had an affair over the last three months while we were not doing well in her marriage. Emotional connection and physical. During this period, I ramped up my effort in the gym. Always been an athlete. Golfed more to get away and relax. Inserted flotation therapy. You know all the right things when life is hard. I received a huge promotion at work and made more money than I could have imagined for my age. Everything I was doing was to help us through our rough patch. I've seen every message and know every detail of the affair, from the lies I knew she was telling, but was gaslighted in the moment, like her shaving and us not having sex, which is the only time she would, all the way to seeing messages of the love she expressed to him, even going so far to say she couldn't wait until they were married and he is our son's stepfather. They had sex many times in various places. She even gave him oral sex, which just kills me. I have legit nightmares right now. I finally uncovered the mystery after weeks of knowing deep down what was going on, and now it's all on the table. I confronted her several times for the last four weeks, and would be gaslighted, but I trusted myself. I have no clue what to do. I think of my son and the family we were building, and wonder if we were ever even happy in the first place. My mind is twisted. Today is day 10 since I found out. She has stopped all communication with him the second it all came out, and she started therapy yesterday. She is extremely remorseful and is willing to do anything to save her marriage. I just don't know what to do. The community reacts with some advice. Mystery Teaching 30 says, Reconciliation is a long, arduous road. It has an extremely high failure rate. The actual number is 15%. One-seventh of couples can reconcile after infidelity. That's on top of the already high rate of divorce. Half of marriages end in divorce for any reason. Most people never get close to true reconciliation and start rug sweeping, where the BS betrayed spouse is in a permanent state of misery because they feel trapped by family. Cheaters gaslight, trickle truth, and in general, get better at hiding their infidelity. Do yourself a favor and think about this long and hard. Is cheating something you can forgive? And I mean not like a, it's the heat of the moment, I forgive you, I love you, irrational thought. Clear your head, ask yourself, can I forgive someone who has cheated on me? Can I work on forgiveness for two to seven years while hoping my wayward spouse is being 100% honest with me? This isn't a day or a week or a month. This is years of therapy and actively trying to make your marriage stronger while working with someone you can barely trust. And yes, you will have emotional moments. Years later, when it all comes to the service, it is emotional trauma that caused PTSD. It's permanent and your spouse is a trigger. That is your life, should you choose to take that road. Most people here will say don't waste the time and try to get an amicable divorce. Nothing at all's thoughts are like this. I don't think she's remorseful. She's only scared of losing you or losing that which you provide to her. I think she's capable of doing it again. Also, I thought it was horrible to tell another man that she can't wait for him to be your son's stepfather. Another quick comment from C Mountain 9738 She is extremely remorseful. Nah, she is not. She's only sorry you found out. And you are delusional if you think she will not do it again. Lost boy gang piles onto that comment. Exactly. She was just talking about divorcing OP and marrying another man and having him become the father of OP's child. Now she's magically remorseful. Final comment comes from Fragrance Bray. She stopped all communication with him. For the moment. As far as you know. STD test, paternity test, and lawyer. 
I would get the divorce, but if you don't at least start the ball rolling and show her this is on the table, she will absolutely, positively, 100% guaranteed cheat again. If you try to reconcile, you should get a post-nup drafted up now to make the divorce easier when you catch her next time. Your wife doesn't respect you and you can never trust someone that doesn't respect you.